With your first news at 10 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Only once has a Mark Gibson-led team not been part of the football playoffs. That happened with the Demons last year. This season, Bismarck is the four seed in AAA, which means the Demons earned a home game. Davies is the number five seed. They played way back during uh, week three. BHS prevailed that night. First play of scrimmage here for the Demons, and it's a uh, out of the bag of tricks here. A toss to Carter Hankey, and he goes long to Preston Lemaire. Lemaire will get tackled inside the 10. Then on the very next play, BHS goes back to Hankey. This time it's an actual running play, and the West leader in touchdown scores another one as uh, BHS made it a seven-point lead after the kick. But after trading possessions, Davies sneaks one in. It's Gage Brewer, and then uh, the Eagles would go for two and get it to make it an eight to seven lead. That happened in the second quarter. The Eagles, though, would uh, get a fourth down stop, and on the third play after that, it is Brewer to Grant Chosick. Nothing but fake green grass and snow banks in front of him. That made it 15 to seven after the kick, and that's how it's uh, uh, finished. 15 to seven, Davies beats Bismarck. Mandan is the three, a six seed. The Braves are the uh, at number three. Minot first quarter of this one here. Magicians first play from scrimmage, a handoff to Tyson Ruziska. And if you've seen Minot play at all, you know that that's capable of happening every time he touches the ball. It's a long touchdown run to make it seven to nothing. But the Braves get the ball back and. Um, it took advantage of some short gains to march downfield, and Hudson Sheldon hands it off to Jason Johnson. He would go over for six, the point after ties it at seven. Five seconds to play until half. Sheldon has to improvise with the pressure, throws it up, and Tristan Ulmer pulls it down. Mandan was leading at the half, but in the third quarter on a fourth down run, there goes Ruziska again, as Minot would go on to win it by the final of 23-14. to 14. Century is the number seven seed, which puts the Patriots in West Fargo to face second seeded Cheyenne. It's a rematch of last year's semifinals. Drew Nodlin, he's scrambling, can't find anything, and goes down right there for that sack, which forces fourth down. A couple of uh, incomplete uh, passes later, the possession goes to the Mustangs. Cheyenne would go right down, and Caden Olson would uh, power back right up the middle. He would score it. The Mustangs take the lead. And then after a... Um, a mistake on the kickoff by Century. It is Cheyenne that gives it and gets the ball and goes to Olsen, who scores again. And Cheyenne would score 41 tonight, win it 41 to 21. They needed overtime twice in Dickinson, but Horace wins 20 to 14 over the Midgets. Well, it's also playoff time in junior college volleyball. Bismarck State and Williston State had to wait a little longer for the Region 13 semifinal match due to the weather this week. The Mystics have beaten the Tetons twice in the regular season, but this is the playoffs, and it's a much different situation here. This would be Sam Timmermans with the block for Williston State. That puts the Tetons up by three. But you can't block them all, can you? No, I don't think so. BSC working it outside to Keaton Piercy. She powers that one down, and it is tied up. The set stayed close. Tetons 25-24 working near side. Tristan Barta goes a little soft and it works for her as Williston State would take the first set. But the second set tight as well. Brina Sand with a dig going over to Brooke Haas for BSC. BSC would win the second. This would go five and check out the final. It's Williston State winning at 15-13 in that fifth set. On Wednesday, former Bobcats goalie Hunter Shepard won his NHL debut with Washington, and that was very fun to watch. Tonight, his former team, the Cats, open a weekend series against the Wings. Aberdeen made the trip to the capital city. It would be the Wings who would uh, find the back of the net first in this one. It's Leonard Bugakov who hits uh, the fires from that left side. Space there goes top shelf, and he would score it. Exactly one minute later, the Bobcats would answer back. It's Patrick Johnson there to clean up the miss. He would score it, and the Bobcats would score five times tonight. They win it by the final of five to three. Elsewhere in hockey, you Mary loses to Central Oklahoma, the third ranked team in the country. UND no problem with uh, the Mavericks. College basketball, yes, we're in that crossover time. DSU's women win by two. DSU's men beat the 16th ranked team in the country. In soccer, you Mary down in Sioux Falls, fifth straight win for the Marauders, four to nothing in this one. College volleyball, Sioux Falls over you Mary, Bellevue beats DSU. High school volleyball, Century takes care of Minot. It was Grant County over Mott Regent, three to one. Beulah over Bowman in five. 
Trinity wins twice, beating Shiloh and Flasher. District 6 volleyball, Kidder County uh, over Napoleon Gackle Streeter and South Border beats Strasburg Zealand. And senior night swimming goes to Century in the pool and game one of the World Series right now, ninth inning, Diamondbacks lead. All right, well, volleyball, watching volleyball is a lot warmer than uh, playing football, football tonight. Mm -hmm. yep.